the Star Soaps channel. How are you today? I'm doing good. Today I'm going to be remaking my Thermal Mud Star Soaps Super Detoxifying Super Delicious Soap. It's great for back knee, for acne and for any skin conditions. So come with me and I'll show you how to make it. Squee! So first things first, I've got my cooled oils. And in there I've got olive oil, canola oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, and my super fact of sweet almond oil at 5%. So I'm adding my cooled lye water now. I also have some goat's milk mixed up in there, just for extra skin love and goodness. And my special ingredients today are Rotorua Thermal Mud and Activated Charcoal. I also like to include some fruit powders. So today I have mango powder and lemongrass powder. And all of those are mixed up with a little bit of olive oil and they'll get mixed in with the soap batter to make an incredibly dark black soap, which I'm quite excited about. So I'm sectioning off a small portion of soap now because I want to colour a little bit just grey. I think it would make a nice contrast. A little bit of white, mostly very, very black, and a little bit of grey soap. Start, start, soap, soap, give me natural, handmade soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth, and the leather is surreal. Make it build up high, make it build up smooth. When you get your bubbles, well, you know it's getting cool. I love stuff, so if you're gonna wash with something, make it handmade and make it extra yummy. I love all the coconut, canola, and olive. Nothing in the yucky, it's all made of love, love. love. Start, start, soap, soap, give me natural, handmade soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth and the leather is surreal. Make it build up high, make it build up smooth. When you get your bubbles, well, you know it's getting cool. I love star soaps if you're gonna wash with something. So now that I have mixed up my activated charcoal, thermal mud and fruit powders into some soap batter, I'm going to go ahead and section off a little bit to make it white with some titanium dioxide. And I'm going to be adding a little bit of that titanium dioxide into the smaller jug as well because I actually ended up with a blacker soap there than I wanted. I kind of wanted to make it grey. So I'm just adding the soap in the jug back into my big pot now. It's easier to work that way and I also can scrape all the walls of the jug and make sure I get every last little bit of that goodness. Love the soap, the way it makes us feel. It's silky and it's smooth, and the leather is surreal. Make it build up high, make it build up smooth. When you get your bubbles, well, you know it's getting cool. I love star soaps. So if you're gonna wash with something, make it handmade and make it extra yummy. I love all the coconut, canola, and olive. Nothing in the yucky, it's all made of love, love. love. Start, start, soap, soap, give me natural, handmade soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth and the leather is surreal. Make it build up high, make it build up smooth. When you get your bubbles, well, you know it's getting cool. I love star soap, so if you're gonna wash with something. <laughs> Start, start, soap, soap, give me natural, handmade soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth and the leather is surreal. Make it build up high, make it build up smooth. When you get your bubbles, well, you know it's getting cool. I love star soaps. So if you're gonna wash with something, make it handmade and make it extra yummy. I love all the coconut, canola, and olive. Nothing in the yucky, it's all made of love, love. love. I'm 
like star, star, so, so, excuse me, natural hair make soap made without any chemicals or other natural ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth and the leather is so real. So it has gotten quite thick on me, as you can see, and that is making it a little bit difficult to cleanly pour it. I'm slopping all over the place, which is never a good look. So I'm just stopping midway here to do a little bit of a clean up on my moulds. I don't want that wet soap going down the side and gluing my silicone liner to the wood. That won't be fun when it's time to unmould them. So I've given them a bit of a tap now just to release any air bubbles that might be caught in there and I'm going ahead now with that grey portion. So it doesn't really look that different now to the other soap. Pay attention to the cut bar pictures you will see at the end and you should be able to spot this grey section. It lightens a lot once the soap has hardened. So that's always interesting. When I first started working with activated charcoal, it was a bit of a learning process for me. Every time I tried to make a black soap, I would often end up with a grey soap. So I've learned now that you really need to put a lot of activated charcoal in. And that achieves the black soap, which will give you a grey leather when you lather up with it. But that's just... A note to how good and detoxifying it really is. It's drawing out toxins from your skin and doing you the world of good. I'm like star, star, so, so, excuse me, natural hair makes soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me smell. It's silky and it's smooth and the leather is surreal Make the food up high, make the food up smooth When you get your bubbles, well you know no. it's getting cool I love star stuff, so if you're gonna wash with something Make it handmade and make it extra yummy I love all the coconut, canola and olive Nothing in the yucky, it's all made of love, love, love. Stop, 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 excuse me, natural hair make soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth and the leather is so real. Make the food up high, make the food smooth. When you get your bubbles, well, you know it's getting cool. I love stuff, stuff, if you're gonna wash with something. I like stop, 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 excuse me, natural hair make soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me smell. It's silky and it's smooth and the leather is so real. Make the food up high, make the food smooth. When you get your bubbles, well, you know it's getting cool. I love stuff, stuff. So if you're gonna wash with something, make it handmade and make it extra yummy. I love all the coconut, canola, and olive. So now that our soap tops are all beautifully swirled, it's time to go ahead and add some of our wonderful, unique star soaps toppers. So I have some stars that I've made with leftover soap from other batches using a wee star shaped mould, silicone mould that I have. But I also have a whole bunch of little tiny soap stars that I made using my soapy dough. And if you would like to learn how to make your own soapy dough, I will leave a link below to the video where I teach you how to make this stuff. It is so cool and easy to make and really fun and gives a super unique look to your final soap. Silky and it's smooth and the leather is so real. Make the food up high, make the food smooth. When you get your bubbles, well you know it's getting cool. I love star stuff. So if you're gonna wash with something, make it handmade and make it extra yummy. I love all the coconut, canola, and olive. Nothing in the yucky, it's all made of love, love, love. Stop, 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 excuse me, natural hair makes soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth and the leather is so real. Make the food up high, make the food smooth. When you get your bubbles, well, you know it's getting cool. I love star stuff, so if you're gonna wash with something... I'm 
my dog star so stoked. So, give me natural handmade soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth, and the leather is so real. Make the food up high, milk the food up smooth. When you get your bubbles, well, you know it's getting cool. I love star stuff. So if you're gonna wash with something, make it handmade and make it extra yummy. I love all the coconut, canola, and olives. Nothing in the yummy, it's all made of love, love. love. Stop, stop, so, so, give me natural hand made soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes this me feel. It's silky and it's smooth and the leather is a real. Well, there we have it. Unfortunately, I did film the cutting, but when I went to put it up onto my computer, the file became corrupted somehow. So you'll just have to make do with these beautiful pictures of the final cut soaps. I love how they swirled swirls turned out and how the colours are all black and white and grey and I think this set looks a bit like walker zombies doing the mash doing the monster mash <laughs> all in all it was a really fun soap to make and a great soap for your skin this week I'd like to highlight Tony Gert and her beautiful rustic marble looking soaps that she made and shared in our group over on Facebook called Star Soaps Family. I would love for you to come and join the group and share your creations with me. I try to highlight someone new every week and you inspire me just as much as I inspire you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Love you guys.